Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is Python lecture series lecture 9. Today we will discuss dictionary in Python. Dictionary are data types which are stored in key value format, which means to access every values you must have the key and vice versa. For example, name is a key and value is John and one key is age then the value is 28. This kind of data type is similar to structures in C language. However, it is more convenient in Python and makes the code easier to access the database. The beauty of dictionary is that we can have multiple data types in single construct. Like here, string, name and age which is an int are stored under the same dictionary. It is a mutable data type which means it can be modified. We'll see that later on. There are also other data types like tuple which is similar to dictionary but immutable which means it can't be changed. We shall be discussing tuple later on in the further lecture series. Let us now see how to create and access dictionary elements and how can we modify it. To define a dictionary let's say with name design data an element of dictionary will be key and values. Let's say key will be design and value of that design is camera top then technology is let's say key and value is TSMC 7 nanometer and third is key let's say tool and the value for that is ICC2. So this is the dictionary defined. To print the dictionary we just have to write print and then you have to write design data that is the dictionary name. Now if we go and run this code, we can clearly see that the entire dictionary is printed with all the keys and corresponding values. So this is one way and let's say now you want to know the data type of dictionary. You don't know if it is a dictionary or something. You just know the name of that element. To know the data type of variable, you just have to write type like this and inside the variable name of the element for which you want to know the data type. Now if you will run this, it will give you the type of the data type that is class of dictionary. There is one more method of creating dictionary that is using dict method. Let's say our dictionary name is dict and dict is one of the function which is defined in python. Inside the parentheses we can again create curly braces and inside that let's say you want numbered keys. So first then colon and then you have to give the string that will be the value corresponding to this key. So one is the key and value is welcome. And let's say after that you want to define two. Two will be let's say two string then comma then three and then inside curly braces like this BLSI Academy. So this makes our dictionary in a different manner using dict function. And if we run it you can see that it has created the dictionary but since we did not print it, it did not print it out. Now we just have to give print command to print it out. So our dictionary is created using dict function. You can also create a dictionary using dict function using each item as a pair of a list. So let's say you are again using dict function inside parentheses. Instead of using curly braces you can use list that is square braces and then inside that use this pair and instead of using colon we can use we can specify like one is the key and then let's say welcome is the first value and then after that your parentheses ends and then second value starts and second value item is key is again two and let's say you want to say is two and then third key is three and the value is VLSI and the fourth element comes and the fourth element again should be inside parentheses and then inside the parentheses four is key and corresponding value will be academy. The difference here is that we are not using colon and separating each element inside parentheses and it is defined as a list inside the dict function. So let's try printing it. Out of these three, first method is most commonly used and it is easier to use as well. Going forward, we will also be using it. Iteration of the key value pair in dictionary will be covered in next videos. That's all for today. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.